Greetings, good people. On today's episode of Common Denominator, JR dumps Tamar. Yes, you heard that right. JR has the Robinson. Is that his last name? Whatever his name is, he has decided to end things with Tamar. And he says that they will always remain friends and family. Before I get into my commentary, let's swing on over to my Twitter, okay? Where I oftentimes write things because I know that they will come to pass. TB is Tamar Braxton. This is my Twitter post from September 18th, 2023. TB is setting y'all up with her antics. She's about to come out and have another quote unquote troubled relationship. She's gonna tell y'all dude did her wrong, shaking my head. The only difference with this is that JR came out first and spilled the beans, all right? This is his Instagram post and it reads, so many questions, so many assumptions. I wanna answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized. Hmm. No, I never cared about fame. Who reveals their most embarrassing moments in their life to find fame? I have always represented famous people and the truth is I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. This man is smart. I turned down Queens Court several times before I gave in ultimately. I fell in love and it did not end how I wanted it. So I want to heal. Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. That man let y'all know in clear and concise detail he ain't cheat. So if she accused him of cheating, she lying. This is according to him. Um, no, he never cared about fame. And he goes on to explain that he has always represented people who are famous and he had his own money. So he wasn't dating her for money because I'm pretty sure he's very well aware that these are some of the excuses that someone like Tamar will come out and try to woo you guys who fall for her antics over with. All right. Now he was on the reality show Queens Court, him saying that he turned it down several times. I don't know if any of that is true. I don't even care. Raise your hand if you learned about common denominator in school, okay? I know I did. A lot of you say things like, why would Tamar lie? Tamar needs to pick better men. And I see in the comments on Twitter and on Instagram that people are, people are calling JR a clout chaser. Oh, he's a clown. He corny. He petty. Why is he letting it be known that he broke up with her? He petty. He corny. But when Tamar first appeared with this man at his birthday party and there was speculation that they were dating, you know what y'all was saying? Ooh, Tamar got her a white daddy. She got her a white daddy. Go Tay Tay. Now he corny. I am so glad that he, I hope he's telling the truth too. If he is, for the sake of this, this argument that I'm making, I'm glad that he came out and made this statement the way that he made this statement. Because I'm telling you, Tamar, it, Tamar will lie at any opportunity that she gets. She will spin, 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 and everything will be everybody else's fault. Everything will be everyone else's fault. But I will say this. I don't think that Tamar is going to play with this, um, this guy because he is a lawyer. And if she says anything defamatory, you know, or flagrant, I'm pretty sure he'll probably let her know. Listen, if you try to defame, I'm a professional. If you try to defame my character, I'll take you to court. And if she does try to defame his character, he should take her to court. See a lot of y'all, the smoke that a lot of y'all have for Nini as it pertains to relationships and reality TV, y'all should have that smoke for Tamar. Tamar is the common denominator. I have been saying this for years. I used to, those of you who are new here, I used to review Braxton Family Values. No, I do not like Tamar. I don't believe anything that Tamar says. It has been proven time and time again that Tamar is a liar. She doesn't embellish the truth. She's a stone cold liar. She's very manipulative. Now she's trying to quote unquote dip her toe back into reality TV after she done cried and told y'all that reality TV almost took her up out of here. 
and all the executives and everybody at we tv and these other networks were against her she done told y'all that so now she's trying to dip her toe back into the reality tv scene i'm not interested i don't want it congratulations to jr i think what he did was c y a he covered his behind i am not mad at him whatsoever you gonna do what you got to do now here's what i want y'all to do drop down in the comments and let me know what you think do you think that jr was corny for coming to social media and letting it be known that he and tamar are no longer together now there have been rumors and whispers that they noticed that he has been absent from her IG page after her car was quote unquote burglarized. She wiped his uh, images from her IG page. And that's what prompted me to post what I posted on Twitter. Also, viewers noticed that on her YouTube channel that he wasn't as present as he used to be, okay? I guess she thought that she would have a couple's channel. Now it's turning into Days with Tay or whatever reality-esque type of deal she's got over there on YouTube or set up, I should say. Not interested, personally. So do you think that he was corny for coming to social media? Do you think that he is being respectful? And you know who's gonna tell it? You know who's gonna tell it? Remember one of his baby mothers came out and said Tamar was being funny toward their kid or she was fake or something like that? Mm -hmm. That might be the one to tell it. But you don't have to say anything to most of us, girlfriend. We know what Tamar Braxton gives, okay? And it's very much immature. It's very much antics and theatrics and nothing but drama. So good luck to, to JR. I don't think he was corny at all. I think what he did was protect his reputation and protect himself. No, he didn't have to come to social media, but he was in a relationship with someone who is very much fueled by all things social media. So he pretty much kind of beat her at her own game. So we will see what Tamar has to say. Um, if she doesn't say much of anything, then I already know. But I'm curious to see what she has to say regarding him coming out and expressing that their relationship has come to an end. Maybe it's for the best. Personally, I think that Tamar has a lot of dudes around her son. Uh, granted, I understand you're a woman, you want to date, but everybody don't got to, you didn't got to shack up with everybody and have your son with you with everybody. Like, girl. But that's just my opinion. She can do whatever she wants as it pertains to her child, her relationships, and her being a mother. All right, that's all I got. Ain't got no more. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments. Talk to you later.